String filters in Liquid allow us to modify our string variables. In this example, we have a heading in front matter and we're outputting it as an H2. And let's say I'm outputting the string in multiple places across this page, but each time I want the output to be slightly different. So in this first instance, instead of saying baked goods, I want it to say baked bread. So we can do this with liquid filters. To apply a filter, you start with a bar and then you give it the name of the filter. Here I want to do a replace. So I want to replace the word goods with bread. And I also want it to be uppercase so I can pass it through another filter, upcase. Now I'm free to use that original front matter heading on different parts of this page. And there it is, modified how I want it. So I'll quickly run through all the string filters available to you in Liquid. Prepend adds a string to the front of your string variable. So we have the word cupcake and we've added chocolate before it. So the output is chocolate cupcake. Append does the opposite. So it adds it to the end of the word. Um, we started with lemon, so the output's lemon cake. Capitalize behaves a wee bit differently from how I would expect. So I would expect it to capitalize each word, um, but it only does the first character. So you can see the I has been uppercased. Downcase converts the string to lowercase. Upcase converts it to uppercase. CGI escape escapes special symbols like ampersand and question mark and converts them into their entities. Escape is going to escape any special HTML characters. So it's converted these less than and greater than symbols into their HTML entities. So when you output that string, instead of rendering an H1, it's just output the text of H1. Slugify converts a string into a URL slug. So it's going to replace things like spaces and periods with hyphens. I find this quite useful if you're adding unique HTML IDs from something like a collection title. Um, you can just run it through Slugify. Strip HTML is going to strip out any HTML tags. Markdownify is going to convert a string of markdown into HTML. So usually if you're writing a blog post, this conversion would happen automatically. However, if you have markdown in your front matter, then Jekyll's not going to know it's markdown. So you can run it through this filter. Remove first is going to remove the first instance of the past string. So here we have two reallys and it's removed the first one. Remove is going to remove all instances of that string. So now there's no reallys. Replace first is going to replace the first instance of a string with another string. So it's replaced the first really with truly. And replace is going to replace all instances of that string. So it's replaced both reallys. Size gives you the number of characters in a string. Number of words gives you the number of words. Slice gives you a substring of a string. So here we're, we're getting the first character, which is S. Here we're getting the second character, O. Using a negative counts from the other end. So this is going to get the second last character in the string. Or we can pass it a range. So here we're getting the characters from two to four. Um, and you can see the output there. Split is going to split a string up into an array based on the character you pass. So here it, it's a comma. Um, so it's going to generate an array with three items, apple, banana, carrot. And I've also called JSONify here, which converts an object into JSON. Uh, so you can see the full output there. Truncate is going to cut the string so it's only X number of characters. Here we've um, given it 15. Um, so it will get to 12 characters and then add three periods. And truncate words does the same thing, except it's based on the number of words rather than characters. 
it's fairly overwhelming to remember all these filters. So we put together this cheat sheet where you can quickly look up the filters and have an example of how to use them and the output they generate. So this is available at cheat.jekyll.tips. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.